Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Number two. Now serving number two. Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. Please deposit your personal belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. Please discard your clothes. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. Now, if I was Percy, I'd just go promenading about, wondering why everyone was staring. He never did quite grasp what's so important about wearing clothes. God, you made the mighty, made the mighty yet. Don't you look wonderful? Please proceed to the next room. Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Happiness is a choice. Oh. Butterflies, guys. Did you see that? Should clear up soon, I imagine. Lovely day for it. Please head into the theater and take a seat. This room is for showing Uncle Jack only. It is not for other activities. <laughs> Alright, looks like I'll just sit. Excellent. Sit tight and enjoy the show. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. Yeah, this guy's Isn't creepy. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Creepy? No. Please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Oh god, you're getting tested? Oh my god. Okay. Just Lovely a friendly day. reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it. But a word to the wise, proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them and we shan't have disagreements. I'm surprised he doesn't say that people who look like crack addicts. I swear these guys look like crack addicts. It's a game show. It's time to play Oh Behave, the game where you show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village and behave like a proper, decent citizen. Oh, for heaven's sake, they can't be serious. Are you ready I've to always play? wanted to be now, on a game our show. Our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? Lionel Cashier. Glad he's still around. If you want to fit in, you should. Hey! Say hello to everyone you meet, like what you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. The eyes! The eyes! The eyes! The eyes! Yes, that's right. It never hurts to say hello to people. Player two, I'm afraid. The eyes! The eyes! was not the right answer. <laughs> See what happens when you try to cheat? Mrs. Browning, what would you like to know? 
If you realise you're wearing rags, should you A. Pop a joy. B. Put on proper clothes for God's sake. And why not pop a joy? C. Why does everything have eyes? Why does everything have eyes? I saw you chose C. Don't lie. You chose C, didn't you? That's right, player one. Just popping a joy is not always enough. We do have standards. Right? Yes, we do. Player two. I'm afraid everything does not actually have eyes. <laughs> Jack Constable. Constable, Constable. Your question. Right. Well, here's my interrogative. If I see you running, jumping about, or crouching in the shadows, what will I likely do? A. Tell you to stop your rotten shenanigans before I smash you in the face. B. Run and jump and play myself. C. Oh God, the eyes. You're gonna join in, aren't you? I bet. I bet you're gonna join in. You you would definitely join in. I, I don't. You look like the fun type that would join Player in one. of running, That's jumping, right. and if playing you with get yourself. Don't lug about like a rotten downer. That's what he said, right? Like you're fleeing the scene. Or jump about. Oh, player two. Today is just not your day, is it? But you can always come back for a seven try. And you know, after six times, oh, you would know I the answer, right? To the village. If you didn't, remember, we're always happy to give you another shot. If you're willing to behave like a decent citizen. Of course we are. Here in Hamlin Village, we're always happy. Well, that's a relief. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time to play Oh Behave, the game oh, where you show geez. that you're ready to come back. Is this to starting Hamlin again? And behave like a proper decent citizen. What the hell? I passed the test. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. The was not Time to get out. Mrs. Brown, what would you like to know? If you realize you're wearing rags, should you A. Pop a joy. B. Put on. Okay. Oh, stash. I can get my stuff back. Okay. Mm. May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, Please bear in mind, there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be what? indoors after nightfall, sir. Yay! What? Three of the same old women. Isn't this wonderful? Oh, I can't remember the last time someone came through. Welcome back to civilization. Thank you, thank you. So from here, I've got to get to St. George's home, and then into the parade. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade. Like the one I left on my desk in the parade. How do I get a new one? Wait. The old government printing office was on Maiden Home. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks. That's weird. Oh. I think I think my stuff is wearing off. Lovely day oh. for it. Right oh. Nothing conspicuous. Looks like the old printing office is pretty well buttoned up. I wonder if there's a way in the back. Oh no. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. Next week? Arthur? Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. Don't you lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me! Sally! Oh, that's Sally. I knew it was you. 
I mean, the glasses, the hair, the really adorable jacket. Don't ask me how. You're not that awkward little boy anymore, are you? But the way you walk, it's, it's like the mask isn't even there. I just, I just knew there's Arthur. Sally, you look fantastic. This ancient thing? I've had it two weeks. I'm out of my mind with boredom. Green and white checked. Your dress, the last time I saw you. Running out the door. <laughs> oh, that horrible gingham dress. Oh, God, that takes you back. <sighs> You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little fucking faith. I'm not going to turn you in. Whatever possesses you to go off your joy? <sighs> I see. Oh, God. I saw a picture of him. I promised I'd look after him in Germany. I have to go and find him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. <sighs> Good Christ. Just tell the policeman that. I'm sure they'll wave your right on through. Yeah, haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm very close with General Bing. Of course you are. No. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. I mean, I could go see him and ask Damn, him to give you a letter Sally of transit. Damn, Sally was a slut. Don't put the general out on my account. I'm sure you've only so many favours you can ask of him. My God. You still hate me, don't you? Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 years. We were 16! How could you? Because I liked him because he had that adorable beard. I don't know. There isn't a reason for everything. You're the last bloody person who should be off his joy. I can't believe you are. Believe me. Take enough... stuff. Look. Some downer broke into my lab last week, literally tore the bars off the windows, and the ridiculous thing is I forgot to lock the front door. Point is... It's a horrible, <laughs> terrible world out there. I just don't see you smashing your way into the city without a great deal of help. Oh, no. Not me. I'm living on the King's Road right now. Of course you are. I couldn't exactly have stayed there, could I? Like, nothing happened. <sighs> Look. I'm sorry. This isn't what I meant to... <sighs> Maybe we could help each other. Maybe I could come by when I'm feeling... Mm. ...better. Brilliant. You should have just taken advantage. You ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologising grievously? And asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> that is a funny glitch. Damn it, lads! She scarpered! Oh! But what have we here? A friend of Miss Boyle's, innit? Funny! You don't seem all high and mighty! Perhaps we can express our feelings about Miss Boyle to her friend. Oh, no, really? You wanna try? Try. Ah, psych. Get happy. Oh, what? You want to push? You want to push? You want to go? You want to go? Come on! Come on! Cheer up, you bastard! That's what you get. Can't we just? Agree to disagree? Oh shit, I killed him. Okay. We'll not talk about this. Nah, nah, what's all the scuffle? You've been having an altercation in the alley? Uh, oh, no, no. You need to worry about, Constable. I'll, uh, just be on my way. And where is it you're on your way to? Precisely. Just off to see an old friend on St. George. Oh, well, no need to be in such a hurry. The bridge to St. George is, uh, under renovations. Mm. Oh, for how long? I hesitate to prognosticate. 
sir. Dr. Faraday's the only one who knows how to fix the uh, ridiculous contraptions on them bridges. Word has been sent, but we've not had the courtesy of a reply. Why don't you, uh, I don't know, uh, go to Dr. Faraday's house? Because Dr. F has removed to a secret location, the, uh, location which headquarters keeps, uh, uh secret. <laughs> All right, I'll ask your headquarters then. You some kind of troublemaker. Stay out of city business. I suppose if I want to go and make up with Sally, I need Swear. to get Dr. Faraday to come fix his bridge. So I need to visit police headquarters and find out where he's gone. Not okay, risky at all. Well. It's always a little extra complicated with Sally, isn't it? I need to figure out where I can hide until the morning. Wonderful. Yeah, Wonderful. I'll just sneak in here. I'll get rid of these guys. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. It's okay. Go to sleep. No. Let me see Lee. Okay. There we go. To sleep. A chance to dream. Is someone there? What's going on in the village of Harry? We only want to help you feel better. You can't hide from ah. Don't open this. <gasps> Forget your skipping rope, have you? Oh boy. <laughs> yes! Ah, oh, that took way too long. Let me go to that little star up there. Let's see what it holds. Ah, here it is. No. Poor guys. I suppose there are more lingering ways to go. Um. Um. <sighs> nope. It is over there. Okay. Three, two, one. Go, go, go! I missed the doorway. How can I miss the doorway? Come on, come on. Okay. Woo! It's a bit sloshy. Good place for giant octopi. Okay. Oh, here. Switch again. I'm in business. Now, if you can find the switch again, you, we were just there. Did you forget about it already? All right. Okay. Now that it's open, get to finally do this thing. Hello, I'm attempting to locate Dr. Faraday. Uh, can you tell me where I can find him? I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. I could tell him where to find Bobby Hickenbotham, though. Oh, for heaven's sake. He's not in a reform club again, is he? He was supposed to go to Lud's own. Well, apparently, he feels so guilty that Dr. F has been deprived of the liberties, which are the birthright of every English citizen, he's gonna get his ass spanked. Constable what? Bill, I'm not the public. I'm from the Department of Archives, Printing and Recycling. We're conducting an investigation into Dr. Faraday's handling of municipal records relating to the maintenance of the inter-insular bridges. Two requests have already been sent by Miss Bing to your superior requesting this information. 
If I have to go back to the parade, Miss Bean's next letter regarding this apparently deliberate festivance will include the name of the last person I talked to. Will that be you, Constable? Or the chap who keeps the constabulary's address book? In that case, sir, why don't you take the elevator on up to records? They'll sort you out. Thank you. I shall. There you go. Right here. Percival Hastings, is it not? N no. It's Arthur. Percival went away. Odd. There are some things you think you'll never forget. But then I suppose you do. I'm Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Memories play tricks on you, do they not? Huh. That's strange. How old are you, Mr. Hastings? I'm 13. They typed my birthday wrong on the card. So, why are you here? Lovely hey. day for it. All right. Why isn't this opening? Open. Open. Oh. Gotta push a button. Really? Hello? Constable Bevan said you're the chap who has Dr. Faraday's current address. Uh, that's right. I've got records of everyone's address back there. All alphabetical. I'm quite proud of it. So, I bet you where are. is Dr. Faraday relocated to? Oh, uh, I can't tell you that. You're not a constable. <laughs> I guess it would take two of you to make one constable, if you had platform shoes. <laughs> right. Anyone else you'd like me to not tell you the address of? You're very helpful. <laughs> That's what everyone says. <laughs> you know, I used to patrol the street. It was lovely. Shopkeepers give you sandwiches, ladies flirt, the warm sun on your coat. One misstep, and they put you in the records room. It's hardly fair. He was breathing when I left him. Yeah, sure. Okay, well. Looks like I need to find another way. What the? Why is it raining in here? <laughs> All right, found a little vent off to the side over here. Sneak in. Let's see where this goes. If they're alphabetical, maybe I can find Doctor F's address myself. F for Faraday. Aha. He certainly does have this there place organized. Go. Dr. Faraday's in Lud's home. That's crazy. Why? And how do I get to Lud's home? Are they renovating it? Time to go and visit Faraday. Dr. Faraday. What was all that about Bobby Hicken both on? He's supposed to check up on Dr. Faraday, but he's at the Reform Club instead, getting his ass spanked. He must have some sort of ID that lets him cross to Lud's hole. Maybe I could borrow it. The Reform Club. This is where that chap is supposed to be getting spanked, isn't it? The one with the credentials for crossing the bridge to Lud's hole. I wonder if I can borrow his paperwork while he's busy being punished. It was merely the members of the Home Army all right, now it's nighttime. Oh, Re Reform Invitation Club. Hello. Please hold your invitation up to the camera. Oh yes, that's lovely. Mm. Do come in. More of us every day. Oh really? Oh. You hear that? There's more of us every day. Oh, there you are. Hey, I suppose I should come back entirely covered in rubber. Taste. Why don't you go away? Mm. Rubber. Ooh, rubber cat suit?
gonna go and get dressed. Oh, I look like another perv in this suit. At least I'll fit in among pervs. On the other hand, it ought to protect me against electricity and lightning and things. Wait a minute, this thing protects? Are you serious? So you're saying I freaking ran through that thing for nothing. I should have came here first, then found the shelter. Whatever. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Yeah, that's more like it. I was almost thinking you were not one of us. No, I am. I'm told I'm totally one of you guys. I love getting electrocuted and such. Whatever. What? What's in here? That's <laughs> ah. <laughs> This is weird. You guys go and have your Right. Things. I can take his stuff, and then I can walk across the bridge to Lud's home yeah. with his credentials, can't I? The tickler? Ooh. Now that I got what I need, I guess I can head out. That was fun. Very fun. I love, I love all the that electricity and freaky stuff. Whatever.